The skies have long echoed with the power of Western innovation, where Rolls-Royce engines fueled empires and shaped aviation excellence. Yet no dynasty can last forever. But a force is quietly rising from the east, an engine born of relentless ambition and cutting-edge design ready to challenge the dominance of the aviation giants. It is China's CJ3000. But why is this new engine a threat to Rolls-Royce's sacred heritage? How could this single engine reshape the future of aviation? Let's find out. China's pursuit of aviation independence is not just an industrial project, but a national mission rooted in pride strategy and a desire for technological autonomy. For decades, the country's skies have been powered by Western-made engines. Even China's flagship passenger jet, the Comac C919, considered a symbol of self-reliance, relies on the Leap 1C engine jointly developed by General Electric and Safran. For Beijing, this dependence is a strategic weakness, a reminder that despite remarkable advances in airframe design, avionics and materials, the heart of the plane, the engine still comes from outside China's borders. Moreover, this dependence is not only technical, but also geopolitical. In an era where global supply chains are increasingly fragile and access to technology can change overnight, China's reliance on foreign engines leaves it vulnerable. Every C919 flight powered by Western turbines underscores a simple truth. Without mastering jet engine technology, China cannot fully control its aviation destiny. Determined to finally break that barrier, the Chinese government has made aerospace independence a cornerstone of its long-term vision. Billions of dollars have been poured into national programs like the Aero Engine Corporation of China, or AECC for short, established in 2016 to pool the country's best minds and resources to develop engines. In labs in Shanghai, Qi'an and Shenyang, thousands of engineers are working to solve the toughest challenges in aviation, improving the cooling of turbine blades, mastering single crystal alloys, and refining the performance of high-bypass turbofan engines. The result is the CJ3000 China's next-generation high-bypass turbofan engine, which is the embodiment of this dream. Designed to power the C939 wide-body jet, the engine is not only a technological leap, but also a symbolic one. If successful, it will signal that China no longer needs to rely on Western engines to take to the skies. It will transform the country from a customer to a competitor, from an aviation follower to a global power. For China, aviation independence is more than just a goal. It was a statement the next great chapter in aviation history may no longer be written in Derby or Seattle, but in Shanghai. In the silence of China's most secure aerospace test stands surrounded by the hum of turbines and the glow of molten alloy, a new force is taking shape. Known as the CJ3000, it began as a secret AECC project, but has now become a bold statement China will no longer rely on foreign engines. For decades, the country's airliners from the ARJ-21 to the C919 have relied on Western-built engines like the CFM Leap 1C and Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 Hanatard symbols of unparalleled engineering excellence. But empires have fallen and dominance has faded. Now a new rival has emerged from the East. What's more, the CJ3000 is more than just an ordinary engine. It is a technological rebellion, a combination of power, precision, and purpose. Designed to deliver up to 80,000 pounds of thrust with a bypass ratio of about 10 to 1 and an overall pressure ratio of nearly 50 to 1, the engine aims for thermal efficiency on par with Rolls-Royce's most advanced designs like the Trent XWB and Ultrafan. But why is the CJ3000 even a future project that can beat Rolls-Royce? If you want to find out why, please support us by clicking the like button and subscribing. Because it's built for speed, simplicity, and independence, not legacy. While Western giants stagger under the weight of certification cycles and corporate caution, 
Chinese engineers are free to innovate, not crawl. They're leveraging 3D printed turbine cores, cutting the number of components by nearly 30%, reducing assembly times and simplifying maintenance. They have integrated AI-driven cooling optimization technology, allowing the engine to dynamically adapt to pressures and temperatures. A frontier Rolls-Royce is only just beginning to explore in its next-generation ultrafan program. Another reason is cost and flexibility. Rolls-Royce engines are masterpieces, but they are also extremely expensive in terms of price and complexity. In contrast, the CJ3000, which will be designed from the ground up with digital tools and interconnected manufacturing technology, could even beat its Western rivals in both manufacturing costs and operating efficiency. For airlines, especially those in Asia, Africa and Latin America, an engine that delivers 90% of the Trent's performance at 70% of the price could be a game changer. The strategic advantage of this project is also the golden key. Rolls-Royce's strength has always been its global support network, a network of maintenance centers, certifications, and Western partnerships. But for China, that network is also a leash. Any export control, any licensing, any geopolitical tension clause could threaten access to critical components. So China has changed and balanced that equation. It represents technological independence, ensuring that Chinese passenger planes and its defense industry will never be grounded due to foreign politics. Even in terms of design philosophy, this superjet engine may have the upper hand. It was developed digitally, first using AI modeling virtual stress testing and data from previous programs, like the CJ-1000A. In addition, AECC engineers can simulate years of wear and tear in just hours accelerating iterations and integrating real-time field data. Meanwhile, Rolls-Royce, constrained by decades of legacy systems and old design frameworks, moves with measured precision but more slowly. In the race for speed of innovation, this engine is sprinting while others are walking. Of course, victory will not come overnight. Rolls-Royce's mastery of materials, science, reliability, and global certifications is unparalleled. But history favors those who dare to break through. The CJ-3000's response may not have conquered the skies, but it has conquered the idea that China should follow. The jet engine will be China's ambitious step toward ending the Western monopoly on aerospace propulsion. But behind its mighty roar lies a huge challenge. Technically to compete with Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB, the largest engine in the world, or even GE's Gen X, the program, must master ultra-high temperature materials. Science and precision turbine engineering delivering ultra-reliable performance at altitudes of around 12,000 meters. Every improvement in performance noise reduction and weight reduction reflects the relentless efforts of AECC. It is a three-shaft mixed-flow mid-bypass turbofan engine designed for next-generation supersonic transport aircraft, providing superior thrust. Furthermore, the engine achieves remarkable technical performance including a high overall pressure ratio of nearly 45, a bypass ratio of approximately 2.75 at supersonic cruise speeds, and a significant increase in fuel efficiency exceeding 8% compared to the base engine. In addition, the engine integrates advanced technologies including polyamide composite fan blades, titanium front fins, and a direct injection combustion chamber with a ceramic matrix composite cooling system, the same level of innovation that underpins the best Western engines. In addition, Chinese engineers are facing a dual task, mastering the technology and making a symbolic breakthrough. Success means achieving true independence from foreign engine suppliers, which have long controlled key aerospace technologies. However, Skeptics doubt whether China can achieve the invisible alchemy of materials and reliability that the West has perfected for decades. Failure could increase China's dependence on foreign powers 
a strategic vulnerability. At its core, the CJ3000 project represents more than just engineering. It is a bold statement about China's determination to take control of its aviation destiny. The engine's digital-first design process, with AI modeling, rapid virtual testing, and additive manufacturing, allows for faster innovation cycles than the cumbersome development paths of Western manufacturers. This agility, combined with competitive production costs, is challenging the established aerospace order and has created a ripple effect globally with Western companies accelerating their next-generation projects to maintain their dominance. In short, the CJ-3000 represents China's bold ambition to change the geopolitical balance in aerospace. Whether it finally takes flight as a symbol of independence or dies as a costly dream, depends on overcoming one of the most difficult technological frontiers of modern engineering. The world is watching China's new heartbeat signaling a potentially new chapter in aviation history. The C-939 and its superjet engine are being developed and promoted by China to dominate the aviation industry, symbolizing their strategic commitment to aviation independence and their ambition to compete globally beyond the regional market. For the first time, a Chinese-developed wide-body jetliner powered by a domestic engine can fly across the continent without relying on Western propulsion systems, marking a historic shift in the aerospace industry. This cooperation puts Rolls-Royce and other Western engine manufacturers at a critical crossroads, either push ahead with innovation or lose their dominance in the rapidly growing Eastern aviation sector. The CJ-3000 engine and the C-939 project aim to produce superior technical figures that can beat the Boeing 777X and Rolls-Royce's Trent XWB on the Airbus A350. While China has yet to mass-produce engines of this power, the CJ-3000 is the long-term focus of the C-939, which has the potential to challenge existing leaders in the global market. Over the next decade or so, if successful, this engine could transform from a symbol of domestic progress into a global export engine powering fleets beyond China, in Asia, the Middle East, and emerging markets much like Comac's rise as a formidable rival to Airbus and Boeing. This transformation marks not only a technological advance, but also a profound geopolitical redistribution of aerospace power. As the C-939 and this engine mature, they will reshape the future of aviation by breaking the Western monopoly on wide-body aircraft engines, promoting greater supply chain independence for China and boosting global competition. For Western manufacturers, this will accelerate the race to develop next-generation engines with higher efficiency, lower costs, and advanced features. Ultimately, this smart combination is only a project in the future but it demonstrates China's long-term vision to reshape the aerospace industry, promote economic resilience, and assert its position as a key player in the world aviation arena. So can Rolls-Royce hold its own in the jet age? Leave a comment below. That's it for the journey of discovery. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and see you again.